हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट लर्निंग चैनल एंड टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इरेवोकेबल लेटर ऑफ क्रेडिट इन विच वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ हेड्स एंड व्हाट आर द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस हेड्स एंड आल्सो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर द इंपोर्टेंट हेड व्हिच कैन बी आस्क इन द इंटरव्यू सो लेट अस स्टार्ट सो दिस इज ए irrevocable letter of credit and sample this is also sample which we have downloaded from the google okay so irrevocable means that cannot be changed without both party permissions okay irrevocable cannot be changed without any term and condition cannot be changed without approval or permissions of the both party means importer or exporter okay sometimes you have you have also heard about that revocable lc that means that can be changed without permission of the exporter okay because importer is the person who open the lc so let's start the session this is the date which a letter a letter of credit is open okay so these are the also the important message for the bank and uh, we go to downside header message which is belong to bank okay yes so swift output fin 700 issues of a document credit okay so who has uh, open this here this lc okay sender so here sender and receiver okay so we need to understand who is the sender sender means that the uh, branch or bank which open the lc okay so here who is the open lc arab bank and commercial branch manama branch okay and who is the receiver receiver means that that receive the lc okay so receiver is the trade bank all turkey offices stabul stia okay so these are the both party both parties bank okay now start from the head 27 okay one of one this is the section 40a head so these are the head which are uh, important 40a 40 is mean that form documentary credit which is the form form is irrevocable which cannot be changed without permission of the both party okay and the second point 20 20 is a documentary credit number so this is the documentary credit number and now 31c the head 31c is said issue of the debt on which debt the else letter of credit is issued so we have to read this right to left so okay so first this then this and this so 16 date is 16 and month is october and the year is 12 okay 2012 okay so these are all documents we have just reading for the sample purpose now 41e the head 41e say what say application rules okay applicable rules so uh, ucp ur latest version okay this is the latest version of the ucp ur now date of date and place of the expiry okay so date of uh, the uh, expiry is the 6 january 2013 okay and issue is that 16 october uh, 2012 so here there are the 90 days approx 90 days okay so in 90 days the shipment must be executed means the delay delay uh, dispatch from the uh, as exporter okay now if we go to the next applicant who is the applicant the applicant is the person who apply for the lc so who will apply the lc for the lc importer okay why because that exporter will dispatch the goods and he want 
surety of the receiving payment okay for that he asked to the importer that uh, please open the letter of credit in favor of me okay so here who will apply for this the applicant applicant means buyer who want who buying the goods okay so what is the name of company behrin manufacturing company okay this is the address and beneficiary beneficiary who will the beneficiary beneficiary is the exporter who is going to export good okay so this is the export international import company okay so your full name and address should be mentioned here okay so this is a 50 in point uh, had 50 there is applicant and in 59 beneficiary now currency code okay so here we need to mention that what is the currency actually which is the currency so in 32b currency code so currency code is a us dollar and amount amount is a uh, 310 dollar okay so now 39b maximum credit amount so here not exceed okay not exceed means that the value is mentioned here it should not be more than this value okay so matlab uh, here uh, there is a mean of that ki importer is uh, bounding the exporter that he cannot increase the goods value above then mention here in the amount okay so cannot be exceed now uh, available with the bic so here there is a code which mention here by payment uh, the payment can be done by this code zip code okay partial shipment not allowed okay so here we need to dispatch these goods only on one lot we cannot uh, we cannot uh, uh, partially divide the shipment like uh, we receive the 10 container order and we try to if we have not uh, available the cargo of 10 container then we are try to export only 5 container at one time and 5 10 next uh, 15 days so in this case this is not allowed so 43p is saying that the partial shipment is not allowed trans shipment trans shipment can be allowed okay 43t is saying trans shipment can be allowed okay now 44e 44 is the port of loading airport of departure okay so any turkish port okay port of loading can be any turkish port okay which is nearest to the factory port of discharge which port of discharge shipment will be uh, unloaded so khalifa bin salman port so this is the port name 44 ab saying that that on this uh, uh, port of discharge this is the port of discharge where shipment will be unloaded now 44c latest date of shipment 15 december 2012 okay so this is the latest date of shipment before this date we have dispatched the goods okay now 45a this is this is very important many time this are asked by the any uh, interviewers in, in interview 45a they can ask what is the meaning of 45a so they we need to explain that what goods we are going to export name we need to mention the name is the 45a description of the goods or service okay so here what is this uh, good is crushing plant is a short name and as as per perform invoice number and date so here they mention they are going to, they are trying to mention that as per perform invoice uh, the description of the goods they are not explain uh, fully name but only the as per uh, as the perform invoice now there is an important cfr behrin so cfr behrin means that the shipment is a Uh, need to deliver at Bahrain uh, means that the exporter responsibility is till uh, Bahrain, which is uh, CFR means the cost, freight, and uh, sorry, cost and freight. Okay, so FFR means freight. So here there is no insurance available, and there is no uh, exporter uh, not uh, not uh, issuing insurance certificate for the shipment. 
so this is only cost and freight we need to mention in the commercial invoice okay so next uh, 46 a document requires which document required for the shipment so uh, from 46 a we will discuss in the next session so that's in a further today and we will understand the 46 a and then further uh, chapter and further head of this lc in the next session so guys thank you for watching the session have a nice day